Hello everyone, this is Credit giving you a shoutcast between Maka Prime and OGS The Wind here on excuse me, Zelenaga Caverns. It looks like those drones were just a little bit late, and now Maka Prime opening up with a GG. So let's get this game started. Maka Prime opening or starting on the north side of the map as the red Terran player. Meanwhile, um, OGS the wind spawning on the south side of the map as the blue Zerg. Um, I think his full name is technically technically the wind. Um, but I'll just call him Wind, and I'll try to call him the Wind, and try to honor his name. It has, <laughs> wow, I am a little bit under the weather, been trying to um, fight off a cold for the past couple of weeks, and I think it finally got to me. We now see a supply depot being built on the front door here, most likely will um, come off with another barracks, either here or here, and then be able to move out. We do see an overlord also on the move coming in from the wind. The wind will be able to scout off on the north side of the map in just a moment. You can see them you can see the trail of this overlord already want to see as much information as it possibly can without sacrificing itself. So most likely we'll be able to get a look at that one refinery there. We do see a barracks being placed on the low ground. So decent and um, interesting positioning on this barracks here as we also see a drone now making its way over. This barracks on the low ground will make it a little bit more difficult for those zerglings. They will be forced to run around this ramp or the barracks here in order to get up this ramp, buying precious seconds for those marines to get off some additional shots. We do also see an SCB now trying to come down for Perhaps trying to repair this one SCV as a new SCV coming in to deal damage towards this one here. So this one drone now making its way. Will this SCV be able to deal damage? No, now trying to come up. And now we see a second barracks. So this is going to be a two racks play coming in without a refinery. Sorry that I not I did not catch this. So this was a 12 racks followed by a 14 racks. And now OGS the wind definitely needs to get his spawning pool and then get a lot of drones for spying crawlers. I do not expect OGS the wind to get e get that many early extractors just because the gas would be very, very expensive even for that metabolic boost. We now see one SCV making its way over here to the south. We may get a bunker trying to be placed down. And yes, OGS the wind suspected that and sent over a very early drone in order to de deal that more harassment. We now see one Marine also making the long trip trek all the way to the south side. Zerglings are built relatively quickly so that spawning pool as soon as it is up and running I believe OGS the wind will be trying to save up um, two to three larva in order to be able to pump out those units You can already see getting up to two larva in just a second wait for it as drones now coming in as well So we now see two SCVs coming in are we gonna get any bunkers down as we also have one marine So a bunker now trying to be placed down there a drones now trying to come in trying to deal damage and now been playing just ring around this giant chasm here Maka prime will cancel that bunker and now these two SCVs once again on the move, trying to get more damage done. The creep will start to spread, and now this one spine crawler does take a long time to build, but a bunker could be laid down. All these drones just wandering back and forth, trying to make sure that nothing will be laid down. And now Maka Prime trying to harvest the best out of a failed situation, getting some gold minerals for that long distance mine home. Nicely done so far, and now we I expect Maka Prime to just transition into a different style of play. We do see that he's currently getting one or his two barracks still do not have tech labs down. And I like this little a bit of a zigzag S race for any Zerglings to try to even get up this ramp. Perhaps we are gonna see something being placed down here in just a moment. There we go, another supply depot. As those uh, Marines on this ramp will be able to sit here and be protected fairly, fairly easily. There we go, down goes one of those Zerglings as those Zerglings are being forced to run all the way home. One SCV trying to escape. Will it be able to get away is gonna be the key question as these Zerglings are gonna be able to run straightly, straight in front and trying to get into that position. There, down goes that SCV. CV with those minerals. Those minerals never made it back to the command center, so lost forever here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Moving on, we do see a factory now being placed down by Maka Prime. Meanwhile, we have OGS the Wind currently um, and not getting any gas, now fi finally transferring some drones over, and now we'll be able to start getting that metabolic boost in about one game minute since he does not have that gas up and running just quite yet. It you harvest about 100 minerals or 112, mi sorry, 112 gas 
per extractor per every 60 game seconds so it'll probably be a quite some time and now wind unable to really get up that ramp trying to figure out what exactly it can do there are marines down over here preventing um wind from being able to see what exactly is going on inside and this is a zerg player's nightmare without any overlords to be able to fly into a base the terran player can pretty much do whatever he wants and now taking a look at his build he is looking to go into banshees you can see the factory already down the starport right next to it i'm surprised that the factory is not currently lifted up already in order to um, enable that swap a little bit earlier there we go there is that factory lifting off bench a starport will be lifting off in just a moment and now landing there i'd be very surprised if it was a raven first as the banshee play is pretty standard play now we see an additional barracks being laid down as well and a command center being lifted off into this location here zergni is now trying to return all the way home as now ogs the wind transition into roaches and banelings um still at tier one though and um, if this was a double starport opening i would be i would say that this would be a very very effective harassment but since it is only one starport i don't know if he will be able to reach enough banshees quickly enough there is one queen at each of the hatcheries a second queen could be trained up very very easily as the zerglings now trying to back away and now we see additional factory and an engineering base so it does not look like he's trying to go for mass banshee he's just trying to get enough banshees onto the field in order to force the zerg player to be a lot more defensive now moving out will reveal the banshee to the zelnaga cavern and zelnaga cavern zelnaga watchtower as that banshee is now making its way across the map you can see for just a moment the zergling or wind was actually able to click on that one banshee there and now make trying to make its way down over here are we gonna get an evolution chamber yes one evolution chamber two queens already in position and this banshee will be forced to just return all the way home pretty much with no real benefit whatsoever the banshee trying to get some sight queens quickly getting some damage down and now those queens giving chase to that one banshee banshee able to get two kills one zergling kill and one drone kill and now that banshee very very expensive not able to really do anything at all maka prime oh could have gotten some more quick kills there to try to at least make it mineral worth it in order to get in the air he does see that there is no hatchery over here doing a lot of scouting and now an scv making its way over here perhaps to try to set up another command center we do see aspire now coming in so aspire takes a fair amount of time to build about a hunt or a, definitely a hundred game seconds and now with no armory in play he may be able to or sorry ogs the wind may be able to get a large number of mutilists very easily you can see that the spire is going down i approximate that he'll have about about maybe 1100 to 1200 gas right as that banshee right as that spire is going to be completed and as soon as that spire is completed with about um 1200 no he's actually actually still spending some of his gas so if he should have enough to create anywhere from seven to nine mutilists that would be my guess there are marines on the low ground the marines do have stim pack that should be able to handle um, against the, the large number of mutilists that he will be fighting in just a moment but um, as he as the wind adds more and more mutilists to his army it will be very very difficult as there's also now a third hatchery being laid down in comes a quick quick scanner sweep does he reveal that spire is a key question here yes he does see that there is a spire being placed down here and now as that spire pops up taking a look at the larva count there is not that many larvas so ogs the wind was not constantly trying to create more and more mutilus he after he saw that scandal sweep he instead tried to produce a lot of roaches so now 14 roaches now being produced and now this roach army will start to swarm out in addition to some banelings as well the roaches do not have that movement speed upgrade just quite yet and will take in about another 60 game seconds or so as the carapace upgrade is now underway roach is now trying to take down these rocks over here as another command center is being laid down and now this factory oh no sorry this barracks over here and creating a wall off here with a very very strong building a thousand hit point building and also getting a reactor there some players like to go double supply depot um a barracks a, a much better choice as it is one building with more hit points also is another production building and you can lift it off if you need to we do see that the command center is nearing completion and we should probably see these marines trying to see the deal some damage here mutilus now in the or now being trained six mutilus will be in the air in just a moment we do see that there is one banshee here just holding a lot of this uh, holding this position and holding this onaga watchtower hostage so that the wind is unable to get to it we do see one medevac trying to pick up and trying to drop down however quickly losing one of its marines 
as these this medevac unable to deal any significant damage marines and the siege tank now taking down these rocks over here as a missile turret is getting placed down we also see an infestation pit so this game is going very very long we see a hatchery now being placed down here and mutal is now trying to deal damage towards that banshee are we going to get marines underneath it in time no not in time as a siege tank now being uh, held off over there we are going to get some vikings as well and viking bangling so vikings against um mutalist will be a very very strong option just because vikings have a long enough range i believe the viking actually wins out in a 1v1 fight against a mutalist it's just when they start starting to start massing each against each other that it becomes a little bit more difficult mutalist oh almost running into a group of marines there backing off at just the right moment as those mutalists trying to figure out what they can do now trying to fly in through and taking a lot of missile turret damage however straight through the center and there are no missile turrets near the mineral line there's one missile turret near that mineral line as those marines are not trying to come up as well will they be able to run away is there any missile turrets here there is one missile turret on the far side and now trying to come back in another missile turret being laid down here however just out of combat range nothing in that bunker so not, no damage being dealt towards those mutilists once again. Mutilists, however, are starting to get stuck as another missile turret now being laid down. One Marine getting overzealous trying to take down this group of mutilists. Sheer numbers are able to take down this group here as those mutilists are now going to run into another missile turret. Another missile turret able to get off another round of volleys onto those units there. And now those mutilists are all very, very low on hit points or at least more than half of them. We now see roaches, infestors, and banelings once again on the move. And now Maka Prime needs to transition into something else. He does have a very, very large marine infantry army in addition to getting that combat shield. However, it is not going to work out very well as banelings and infestors with um, banelings and infestors are able to deal a lot of damage very, very quickly. One, um, one marine caught on the wrong side there will try to fight back once again. SCV is also coming off in order to do some repairing. There are no missile turrets here. There are two missile turrets here and then Maka Prime going to end up losing a lot of those mutalists there losing two four five five of those six mutalists that he had much much earlier and the wind just making a sad face slit dot slit back over here we now see roaches and banelings once again on the move those roaches do have the movement speed upgrade and also have the carapace upgrade as well and so, um, so currently seen on one or two natural armor zerglings will take an will not or will take a more than one attack until these vehicle vehicle weapons upgrade are being completed zerglings now trying to run in position here marines also coming in as well so those zerglings without that creep movement unable to really deal that much damage so we can see maka prime spreading out his tanks very very well enabling him to um, those tanks to cover each other and now with those tanks with that level one weapons upgrade nearing completion those zerglings will get one shotted those banelings already will be one shotted as well even though we have the level two armor upgrades here we are now getting the level three armor upgrades the level three carapace upgrades in addition to the nidus network and this will be very very interesting especially as there are mutilists and overlords all across the map roaches now quickly coming in dealing a lot of damage towards that one set of destructible rocks down it goes and now a drone will grow up to be a hatchery fulfilling its lifelong dream of being able to produce more larva back over here infestors and Fester's taking a look at the army count, 5,900 versus 4,125. And the Terran player just being very careful, sitting in his base. You can see that he's getting up to 2,000 minerals and also getting a lot of upgrades. Also getting the level 1 um, ship upgrades as well. And with so much static defense, Siege Tank's now starting to blast away as well. And Bunker's down here on that low ground. It does not look like OGS the Wind wants to move out in this location. There are only two mineral patches that are not currently being set up or being mined in so far. As we have a mass or a small drop coming in, Marines just trying to come in here, trying to deal damage and transfusion. Are we going to get an infestation in a fungal growth on top of that one medevac? The medevac trying to escape, attacking its own extractor in the process as that one medevac now trying to move out. Perhaps it can just start dropping one marine at a time as it will be taking a fair amount of damage. And now in comes that fungal growth, hitting the fungal growth right underneath that medevac down here to hit that medevac there. And then it was taken down. A perfect transition. Stay tuned for part two of this replay between OGS The Win and Maka Prime here in the Zelnaga Caverns.